What's going on, everybody? Today, I actually wanted to go over what you guys should be doing during this event. I know that there's a million people releasing guides and stuff for, you know, what to expect and kind of what the event's about and stuff like that. But I feel like a lot of people have been asking me, like, what do I need to be doing during this event? So we'll, we'll go through the basics of the event first. Um, and then I want to kind of push you guys in what I think is the right direction based on what you want to do. Okay. So this event that's going on right now is called the Gates of Oblivion Celebration. It's going to encompass a number of dungeons, one of the Trials, Rock Grove, and then two of the zones, the Deadlands and Blackwood. Okay. So this started, if you're watching this when this video came out, um, this started a couple days ago on Thursday, November 16th at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Um, it's going to be going until November 28th, same time, 10 a.m. That's going to give you 13 days worth of tickets. So you can get two tickets per day, so 26 total. The big thing that's going to be able to be, um, I guess, released during this event is going to be the second fragment for the Horde Hunter Ursoc mount. So each of those fragments, there's three in total, um, are 10 tickets each. So as long as, as long as you've got 10 tickets laying around or as long as you participate for at least five days, during this event, um, you'll be able to get that fragment. If you did happen to miss the first fragment that was during the Witches Festival, that'll also be available, which is great. Um, and then we should be getting the third fragment during the New Life Festival coming up next month. Okay, so what are we what are we getting during this event? So we're getting double drops from harvesting nodes in overland areas, so Deadlands and Blackwood. So if you're running around just harvesting resources, that's your, that's your jam, you're trying to make some money, whatever, this is a great time to do it because you're gonna get double. That's fantastic. You're gonna get double rewards from daily quests, so all the world boss quests, the delve quests, stuff like that, from dungeons. But in the dungeons, keep in mind, you're only gonna get double drops on the final boss. So you're gonna get a coffer on the final boss and he's gonna give you another weapon, basically, which is great because that's, that's the hard part of the grind, right? You get all the, all the body pieces and stuff drop from the, the earlier bosses, so you fill that part of your sticker book out actually really quick. It's really just like the weapons and the jewelry. Um, so that's great that that's actually what's gonna be a double drop. Um, and then obviously world bosses, delves, all that stuff, okay? So how do we get started in this event? So you can do one of two things. So you can go to the crown store here, and you can scroll over to quest starters and at the top here you'll see event quest burdensome beasts so that's going to be the quest that you want to pick up it's going to take you to this spot here um, in blackwood right outside of gideon to the northwest of gideon right by the lake you can talk to him get going um, the only thing that's kind of annoying about this honestly is he sends you on a quest to kind of go all over the place and discover i mean it's cool like you know, it, it's fine. It's it's a cool quest, but you don't really get any like cool rewards from it. So that's that's why I'm saying it's not that great. Um, all right, but what are we what are we really talking about here? What is what are we supposed to be doing? So in my opinion, um, there's two things. So if you're farming the coffers, okay. If you're farming the coffers, all I would do I would just go overland and I would farm resource nodes. There is never going to be a time where you're not going to have a ton of resource nodes all over the place here, okay. You'll be able to get reward coffers. You'll get a ton of resources, can make a ton of money doing that. Um, in the coffers, you have chances to get different style pages from Overland, which is fantastic. The thing that I'm doing, though, um, for you collectors out there, is I'm going to be farming all of the DLC dungeons. So the four dungeons that you're going to want to be doing during this event um, are Black Drake Villa, and then you're going to have the Dread Cellar, the Cauldron, and Red Petal Bastion. So my goal during this event is to fill these sticker books out so that I don't have to do it anymore. Um, and again, real quick, if you want your event tickets for the day, all you got to do is finish one of these dungeons, do the weekly quest for Rock Grove, which is super easy on normal. Um, and then you could do one of the dailies in either Deadlands or Blackwood. You could do any of that stuff. So if you want to work on the, you know, the 30, the 30 daily achievement, um, in, in Blackwood and Deadlands, that's a great thing to do right now. If you want to farm these sets, that's a great thing to do right now. There's never going to be an easier time, other than the Undaunted event, um, to get this stuff, right? So there's a ton of really, really good sets from all of these dungeons. For instance, Dread Cellar Crimson Oath is amazing, so is Rush of Agony. Um, getting both of these sets is fantastic. I already farmed these out because they're so good. Um, but 
you know, they've all got like fantastic things about them. Black Drake Bill has got Drake's Rush. That's another really good tank set. Keen Raws is also awesome. So this is a really, really good time to farm these out. And I would highly, highly recommend doing this. It's the same thing for Rock River. We're gonna get double drops from the final boss. Um, that's something I need to get into and start doing. I need to hop on my tank um, and knock those out. All right, the other thing real quick. So that's kind of like my strategy, right? So arm the dungeons because you get double drops. That's great if you're wanting to go for event coffers, you know, and you want to do dungeons simultaneously. Well, you're going to get the coffers passively just from doing that. But if you want to just farm coffers and make a bunch of money, just do resource nodes and don't worry about it. Um, that's going to be the easiest way to do it. You'll get furnishing plans, treasure maps, surveys, um, companion gear, motif chapters, like all of that stuff. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Um, if you're looking for what to spend your um, your event tickets on, you can go to the Impresario. You're going to have all three fragments for the Passion Dancer Blossom. Like I said, the two fragments for the Horde Hunter Ursoc Mount. There's also a brand new style called the Ifray's uh, Fallen Wood style. Um, it's very, very cool. I'd recommend doing that as well. Um, once per day, you're going to be able to get the gold coffers, the glorious event coffer, um, which is fantastic from doing a, a zone daily. And then you can get another one from doing the um, from doing a dungeon, which is great, okay? So that's pretty much it. So, you know, farm the dungeons, knock out your set collection. This is such an easy time to do it. There's, it takes something like 60 to 64 runs or something like that to get absolutely everything in your sticker book filled normally. You're cutting that in half. I mean, this is like, this is the greatest time to do it. A lot of us are gonna have a lot of this, you know, a lot of this sticker book filled up anyways. You know, like I have a, a good chunk of this filled up already, but knocking out those last bits, like that's not gonna take very long. Um, look at the tank build. I've got a tank build that's on the on the YouTube channel. It's called The Punisher. If you wanna try that out, get into tanking a little bit. It's an absolute blast. You can bring into Endless Harkot, all that good stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope y'all have a fantastic time. Remember to get your event tickets each day. And also, also, if you have 12 event tickets, that is the cap you need to spend them before you do a daily or you are wasting the event tickets that day. They don't go to your mail, they don't go to the bank, they just go into oblivion. So keep that in mind, okay? Um, and that's pretty much it. Let me know what y'all think. If you guys have any questions about anything, you can join the Discord or leave a comment below. Remember to like and subscribe for more YouTube content like this, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.